We're talking to the perfect Emma Watson. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Um, what I like this, hey, okay, so I must admit that I'm, I did not read this last book. So when I saw this film, it was actually the first time for me. And therefore, I went on this journey like completely like blank slate and really enjoyed myself in the process. Really? I was going to ask, did you did you follow the plot okay and everything? Yeah, of course. It wasn't like, oh, who are these people? But, but what I liked is it's a three character piece, basically. You're just, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, it's so nice from having this ridiculously enormous cast to it kind of being a bit more of a three-man show. Um, we really relished having a bit more screen time and a bit more, it felt like so much more space to expand our characters and our relationships and just for all of us really to show what we can do. And it does seem like you guys may stepped up and there's a lot more to watch. And so when you're watching you. your fellow actors do their thing, were there even things that you were quite surprised? Like, wow, that, that was a really nice take on, you know, a certain thing. I was really, you know, I was really amazed, really. Um, there was, I was, I was, I know, I, it sound, you won't believe me. I, it sounds like I'm tooting my own horn, but I was really blown away by what we achieved. I never expected it to be that good. I really didn't. Uh, so I'm very, I'm very proud. One of my favorite scenes is this dance sequence between you and- Oh, I'm and glad you like it. The critics seem quite divided about it. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's beautiful because it's it's a nice, almost sentimental moment. Thank and it's you, this, So what, what was it like to shoot that? Because I, I did got like, goosebumps and I was just like, oh, it's the end. You know, I was like, yeah. I don't know what it was, but it just really like, well, I think David just wanted that just to be a moment that broke this kind of like unrelenting tension that, that holds this movie together. He just wanted that to be a moment where he reminded the audience that we were just kids and it's just like this spontaneous, silly, innocent moment and Dan and I really enjoyed doing it and it felt really nice doing it. Um. In a way, you you can ride this wave of denial because the film is not officially over. You've got another mm. film to kind of... So has it been an interesting kind of uh, drawn out goodbye for you? And, 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 yeah. And, and how do you kind of deal with that? Because it is, it's this huge portion of your life yeah. that I'm sure you're like, all right, we can move on, but there's, it's, it's this thing. Yeah, you know? it's funny, all these journalists sort of sit themselves down and go, this is the end. And I'm like, well, sort of, not really. We have another part to come and I'm shooting again at Christmas. And, you know, it kind of, the, the end date keeps being moved back and it, it kind of, it feels like it's ending gradually. So I guess I'm being eased out of it, but at the same time, it's quite hard to like, put it to bed and put it to rest and like fully move on with my life. Um, it's quite strange, but I guess, I guess that's good in a way.